Hi and a very good day. So in this video session, I will review our uh, our last exercise. All right. Okay. So for the first for the first exercise in session one. All right. Uh, this is particularly the question that that I want I ask you to uh, to do. All right. So basically, uh, most of you uh, are successfully executed this uh, exercise right so here uh, the thing that i want to highlight in our first session class is actually all right what are the different output that we produce uh, by different type of uh, object structure right okay so for this first output this is actually a vector okay so in r again i will i would like to highlight okay the first element in a vector is one so when we want to index the first element of our vector okay you need to call the first element okay as example here all right the meaning uh, behind okay this uh this particular in uh, indexing i will teach in another topic right uh, so the thing is if you want uh you want the first element of our y uh, so how you call it okay the square bracket okay the square bracket is for indexing okay and then you call for the first element and you will get zero and as we can see here for a vector r will give us uh, this uh, particular numbers it, it is just to say that the first element in our vector is zero Okay, I'll show uh, the example if you want to list a number from 1 to 100. Okay, and why there will be a different output It is actually depending on our console window. How big are you open your console window? Okay, right. So, that's the thing. Okay, next, this is a character. Okay, I want you to differentiate between the character and factor okay uh, factor can be considered as a special types of character but uh, the difference between uh, between these two is actually when we create a factor uh, by using uh, okay factor function you will get this particular output levels right so it means that uh, when you see this particular output level it means that this particular object is a factor what are levels okay uh, you can consider levels as uh, groups in the uh, character sometimes it is best for us to work with factor rather than the character as example here okay uh, levels here control treatment it means that the first group is control uh, the second group is treatment okay because we don't uh, assign any particular uh, particular order so we say that the level will follow alphabetical order because we don't specify anything okay uh, so if you want to uh, change the level okay you need to add the argument okay what are the meaning of argument all right suppose that all right okay uh, this uh, question mark is uh, the way on how you can uh, inspect this particular function right suppose that you want to know what are uh, what are what are behind factor function okay uh, so you run and then r will give us right so here okay i hope you guys see this all right or oh, you can try at your own uh, console r studio okay so as we can see here the usage okay uh, it will give us description and how to use okay factor where x is a character and then this particular um okay this particular function is argument you say that argument you can add argument or you can simply uh, give the first uh, okay uh, the first uh, argument that you need to make sure that the function can be executed 
right? So this is uh, argument, and if the argument have value like this, we say that this is your default argument. It means that if you don't specify anything, uh, well, by using factor, exclude is an A, and so on, right? You can read uh, details, right? So that's uh, that's the difference between uh, between character and factor, right? And then we have a logical vector, okay? Uh, we can simply uh, Okay, simply type like this, or if you want to increase the readability of your, uh, of your, uh, of your code, okay, uh, you can, uh, okay, you can, uh, okay, uh, you can type like this. Alright, what are the different between this pane and this pane? Okay, this is our editor. Okay, uh, our editor is uh, for us to write the code. But uh, to execute in R, you have to run. Okay, run the particular code uh, in the console, uh, and then that's happened. Right. Okay. Max uh, matrix. Okay. Uh, as you can see here. Okay, matrix. I want you guys to differentiate between matrix and data frame. Right. What are the different? Okay, as we can see here, matrix will give you output like this. Okay, it will give us uh, 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 the column, okay, uh, the col uh, the column and the row numbers here. Okay, uh, we, why they use the square bracket? Because when we want to index this uh, particular element in matrix, we will give uh, we will use this particular indexing. Okay, as example here. I want uh, the element of uh, the first and second, uh, the first row and then the third column. As example, it will give us 5 because the first uh, row and then the third column is 5. Right? What if I want uh, this particular row only? Okay, uh, so uh, we can write like this. Okay, just leave it blank. Okay, the same as this uh, representation. Okay, what happened? We'll get the element of 1, 3, 5 and so on. Okay, so this is matrix. What are the difference between matrix and data frame? Okay, as we can see here, basic, uh, by default, data frame will have, okay, uh, column names and also the row names. Uh, row name for this uh, employee data because we don't name the uh, the row names okay so the row name is one two three row names cannot be considered as your column okay uh, so that's the different output between matrix and employee data but the thing is the dimension is the same it means that matrix you have two dimension row and column but the way it represents your row and column is different than data frame. Data frame also have a uh, two dimension, but by default, it will give the name for your object, right? Okay, so I think that's all for the first exercise. Thank you for listening.